Large particles cannot go across the membrane, but small substances can, like water. Even though the cell membrane is hydrophobic, it doesn't mean water can't go through. It just means that water can't stay in the membrane, but it can go through. The hydrophobic ability designed to prevent water from dissolving it, since water can dissolve if the membrane still exists. If there is more solute on one side, water will diffuse to the side that is more concentrated. This is called osmosis, the diffusion of water. The balance of solute is important, for example, in blood cell. Water will diffuse in and cause the cell to burst. If the cell has too little solute, water will leave the cell and therefore the cell will shrivel. The name of the events are as follows. When you have very little solute on the outside, it's called hypotonic solution. Hypo is low. Tonic refers to the solute, so there is low solute. In the solution, the cell will lyse as water rushed in. When it's equal, it's isotonic solution. Iso is equal, like isosceles triangle. So the cell is normal. When there's too much solute in the solution, it's hypertonic solution. Hyper is high, like when someone's hyper. Well, isotonic is easy. For hypotonic, there's an O in the hypo, so the cell is bursting like an O. For hypertonic, there's an E in the cell shrivel like an E. For a plant cell, however, it's slightly different. I covered up the event's name. Can you guess? Okay, so it's still in the same order. Plants placed in salty water will shrivel because all the water will diffuse out of the cell. It's called plasmolyse. It's not hard when you know the Latin, right? Lyse as in breakdown. The other is plasm, which means substance. Flaccid is plant cell in isotonic, but the difference here is plant cells are not like us. It actually wants to be bursting, called turgid, which means rigid and strong. Plants like to have a lot of water, so plants prefer to be in the hypotonic solution.